YouTube, I'm your friend the neighborhood, Inman64, bringing you the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last episodes, we took on story mode in the worlds of the Enchanted Dominion, Castle of Dreams, and Dwarf Woodlands, and have been basically figured out that we're on our own in terms of figuring out just what the heck this silly goose master Xehanort is up to. But I have, I realized I've picked up a lot of stickers, but I haven't really done anything with them, so... Why don't I do something with them, you know? And get a pulsing crystal out of it. That's important. Getting crystals is always important. Alright, let's see. As you can see here, you get various rewards for however many crist uh, stickers you can put down. You have to get them all in the perfect spot in order to unlock that last command style rhythm mixer which is one of my all-time favorites and it's really useful against the secret boss but we'll worry about that when we get to there now we're coming back to Cinderella's world because as you could tell I've missed a couple of treasure chests most of neither of which we could get before we ended the story there so that was the one that we missed a fleeting crystal which is always important and the last one, which, if I'm not mistaken, should be just outside of, uh, the castle where we met Cinderella before we had to escort her to places. And it's good to know that I left this world for just a few minutes, and Aqua is already off of doing her own shenanigans. Not like we could possibly team up or anything. Yeah, in case you've been wondering, uh, this game is not like other Kingdom Hearts games where you have a party member most of the time. In this game, you're essentially on your own for most of it, and whether or not you enjoy that or not is entirely up to you. As you can tell, Cinderella's D-Link is weird. I'll say that. It's not terrible at all, but... It's just weird. It's just weird seeing Terra use so many magic attacks. And shooting. And running around with magic steps. I don't friggin' know. I don't friggin' know, guys. I don't know. Now, I bet you're wondering what that little dark void thing in the corner in that part of the room is. That is another one of those uh, rare heartless type deals where it was introduced in the final mix version of the game. And if you succeed and take care of it, you'll get a very interesting prize. In this case, it's a command. Now, I'll be doing all of them with, uh, I think I'm going to do it with Aqua. But for the time being, I will show you what one of them are. These are the Golden Runners, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Lone Runners, okay. And they are shoes, because of course they are. We have 90 seconds to defeat as many of these Lone Runners as we can. They should not be too difficult to defeat, but if you don't defeat a lot of them, you're going to get a bad rating. There are three ratings you can get. You can either get one star, two star, or three stars. One star basically gets Terra crying like a little girl. And being like, no, I was supposed to do good. Two stars is, oh, good job, not bad. And the three stars is what you need to get the special commands that they unlock. If you want to 100% complete this game, you have to commit 100% complete each of these. Uh, you have to 100% complete each of these uh, first areas. And in doing so, you'll be able to get great commands. And do I haven't noticed. Have they been given off? No, they're not giving off experience. Oh, okay. I was going to say there might be nice ways to get experience, but I don't know. You're done. I don't know who I'm going to be showing off all of them, all of the uh, the special and first with. I was thinking at first I was going to do it with uh, Aqua, but I might also do it as Ven because I'm not doing a lot as Ven. But we'll just have to wait and see how I feel when we get to those situations. But basically, like I said, it's pretty straightforward if you can defeat a decent amount of them, and I, that, I don't know if this is a decent number or not. I know the passing number for max, I think, is 30. Or 35. And it's a two-star. Okay, not bad. We don't get anything for it, but 
that'll show you what you have to do. You have to improve. You have to get stronger. And that's exactly what Terra's entire goal is, to get stronger. To repel the darkness. And he makes himself stronger by giving it into darkness, which is weird, but whatever. Whatever, Terra, whatever floats your boat. Alright, so Sonic Shadow is maxed out, which is good. Now we don't have to worry about that being an annoyance. Uh, I could do a block command already? That's not what I had in mind, but okay, I'll take it. Um, shit. I was hoping I'd have a Shimmering Crystal, but... Alright, I'll have to go with a Fleeting Crystal. Yes! We now have Cura, which is the upgraded version of Cure. And in case you're wondering, we also have the ability Magic Haste, which, in case you are uninitiated, and I will show you just in case you don't believe me, is uh, the fact that now that we have that, our magic commands will come back to us slightly faster. So the reload time is cut down a bit. And you can get it up to five times, which is very important. Especially if you're going to be a magic user. There's also an attack haste, in case you're wondering. So, you don't have to just always wonder. Oh, no, what if, what if I want to do? What if I want to be all attacking? Don't worry, there's also an attack one. You need to have Fleeting Crystal for attack commands boosting in order to get the attack haste. Though I will point out, sometimes it does not work. The commands... Because the melding commands is not a precise science. Alright, let's test out Thunderstorm next. We have horrific... Well, we have a horrifically low level for it, so... I imagine we're not going to do that much damage, or it's not going to do as much. But I will give it a try anyway. Uh, there you go. Oh, it actually did a lot of damage. I guess that's the trade-off if uh, it's not going to do a lot of damage early on at the very least it's going to, or if it's not going to do a lot of hits early on it's going to do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! But we cannot spend the entire time here in Cinderella's world, we've got things to do. Including going to check out the Mirage Arena and get the last treasure chest so instead of waiting around for these unversed to keep showing up and annoying us. Let's just go on our merry way to get the last treasure chest, and it's not there. Which means it's on the other side. Of course it is. All this trouble for a uh, Wellspring Crystal. That is a crystal that you would use to get the uh, Combo Plus commands and Air Combo Plus commands, and if you're lucky, a rare synthesis command like second chance or once more depending on whatever you use there is a guide that I will be putting in some of these videos for you guys to meld it yourself but for now you all you have to do is just follow my guidance uh, get it guide guidance then. anyway welcome to the Mirage Arena this is this game's equivalent to Olympus Coliseum's Coliseum battles we have several modes, Arena Mode, Command Board, and Rumble Racing. These three modes make up the game. And you can custom... Custom up Terra's... Armor if you want. Now, there is a reason why they let you do this. And that's all because of... What? It's all because of what the PSP version allows you to do. In the Mirage Arena, when I, back when this game was just on the PSP, there was multiplayer. You could compete with friends in command boards, rumble racing, and missions. You could even fight each other single combat, if you so wanted to. Unfortunately, that mode does not exist anymore since we moved it up to the PS4. And as you can see here, there are a ton of different things we can collect. Unfortunately, that Moogle does not accept gold. He will only accept medals, which you can only get by participating in the Mirage Arena's multiple modes. Rumble Racing in the Command Board. We, we've gone over the Command Board. We will go over Rumble Racing later. But we will be going over Arena Mode here. 
We only have four missions available to us. One of which reminds me of that spinning wheel from Sleeping Beauty's World. And a few others, but we're going to focus mostly on this first mission. Which is, in essence, fighting an unversed. You go through several rounds of unversed showing up and messing up your day. And essentially, by doing that, you can make yourself stronger, unlock the commands more effectively, and honestly, just keep improving your gameplay. That's why I love the Mirage Arena. And I'm very disappointed in a lot of later Kingdom Hearts games as they've sort of gotten away from this whole Mirage Arena and the Olympus Coliseum thing where you just battle to make yourself stronger and more or to just, just to increase the, the flow of the story. I mean, Dream Drop Distance and Kingdom Hearts 3 both have their methods for doing what they do, but honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of them. At least in comparison to Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 2, which, as many of you are fully aware, is, are my favorite Kingdom Hearts games. 2 being my all-time favorite game, and this, to me, probably being the most complete of the Kingdom Hearts games, in terms of all of the content that you can do. A ton of main game stuff, a ton of side stuff, with multiple different characters, too. But in essence, this was basically when Kingdom Hearts peaked, and like I said, after Birth by Sleep, it gets really stupid. The fun kind of stupid, don't, don't get me wrong, but it still does get very much, very much a stupido, if you catch my drift. I need that, I need our payback commands. Unfortunately, we won't be getting them for quite a while. I don't know why they may wait and have some characters wait so late into the game to get their payback, and others, you get it like the first or second world. I don't know what it is, guys, I just don't. I just don't know. And oh good, the mutant bunnies are back. Who would keep keeps inviting the mutant bunnies? Who would even think to mutate bunnies? Yeah, I think I need to I need to keep on my defense here because these guys are taking out way too much of my health with just one attack. And I should, I wish I could get into more different types of commands here, because it's just getting crazy. Unfortunately, I'm at a little bit low of a level to be trying out some of these, but I will keep coming back here periodically to train and prepare Terra for all the hell that awaits him later on. And we will be coming back here to complete the secret bosses, because yes, there are, technically speaking, there are five secret bosses in this game. Three of which are here in the Mirage Arena. All three of which were introduced in uh, the Final Mix version of Birth by Sleep, which just like the other Final Mix versions was only available in Japan until people like me bitched enough for them to bring him in, bring him to the United States and everywhere else. And basically, you know, it's just like, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Excuse me! Don't be rude! And this should be the boss. The Iron Imprisoner. Level 1. Because yes, he will keep getting stronger. And more annoying. The key to defeating the Iron Imprisoner is... Fairly simple, just don't die. He will do intense amounts of damage uh, using a shot lock command that's not shitty like mine is key to defeating this guy when you're at a low level. Otherwise, you're probably better off just waiting until you have better commands because honestly, this fight can be difficult, but once you have decent commands, it's kind of a cakewalk fight. I just need more focus before I can use another shot lock attack. Or maybe I should have done the shot lock. I should have done the Cinderella board 
off screen while I was waiting for those videos to process. I will say, since I have switched over to Hop Hog, these videos take significantly less time to. to, uh. They take significantly less time to process than they did with Elgato. So I do appreciate all of the stuff that Hop Hog's been doing for me, especially since I left it on the frickin'. I left it way behind with, with ever since basically ever since I moved. So I used Hop Hog a lot, even into 2017, but then oh jeez, uh, yep, yep, that's death. That is definitely death. Clearly I need to level myself up a bit or make myself tougher, so I'll be right back. Long time, actually. Believe it or not, it was just insane. Unfortunately, when you die in one of these arena missions, you have to start at the beginning. So, if it's one of these, where there's a bunch of unversed fighting beforehand, the, the only silver lining is at least you can make yourself tougher. I know I got a level up. I gained a new com uh, finishing command, which was fun. I don't know which one it is. But it's just gonna have to. Ow! 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 Stop it, you jerk! Oh wow! Wow! There, it actually did burn me. Jesus! That's not good. That's not good at all. That isn't good either. With magic haste cure is taking forever. Let's try. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now, when you see one of these shot lock commands, you can see you have to wait till the ridicule or whatever it would be. The, the circle is near. It's closest to the X without touching it. And when you do that, basically you're set. There are three types of these so-called shot lock attacks. Shadow... Oh, is it shadow Blitz? Shadows... Whatever the hell. Sonic Shadow. The one that Terra starts with is one type. Um, Thunderstorm is another one. And then the Flame Salvo is another one. The Flame Salvo is probably my favorite one. And now that I've gotten myself a bit tougher, this guy ain't no match for me. And I is the champion! Ha 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 ha! Ooh, nice medals. <laughs> 